in the beginning, the environment was something important, coupled with our view in terms of the role governments can play uh, in social transformation. We believe that it's only by protecting livelihoods that we are really uh, addressing the key issues of sustainable development. My name is Sonia Diaz. I am a garbologist, a sociologist a specialized in waste issues. I work for WIGU, Women in Informal Employment, Globalizing and Organizing, and I am based in Belo Horizonte City. This project was a social governmental initiative. Uh, the city government responded to the demands of an existing cooperative in Belo Horizonte, the cooperative called Asmari. It was a cooperative of informal recyclers, and they had been struggling for recognition in public policy because they believed they provided a service by collecting recyclables in the city. So in 1993, when we were in government, we responded to this demand and formed a committee in which representatives from the city representatives from this cooperative and representatives from supporting NGOs that had been working with the uh, informal recyclers for years. And together, we designed an intervention, a project in which we would implement a municipal recycling system having the uh, informal recyclers as the main partners. We started a process of educating uh, the population towards changing their perception of informal recyclers. Uh, prior to this project, people saw informal recyclers as beggars, as vagrants, and they could not see the important environmental work that they did. We uh, educated and mobilized community to sort out their recyclables at their home and take these recyclables to the recycling containers placed in public areas. Uh, the city trucks collected the recyclables from these uh, containers and took the recyclables for the sorting uh, uh, places in which the informal recyclers could sort the materials in better working conditions. And later on, the system evolved and we started to have door-to-door -door collection of recyclables in addition to the recycling containers. When we devised our solid, integrated solid waste management uh, model, the word zero waste was not in place at that time, but the word sustainability was. And the way we started conceptualizing uh, the model was that you have to treat each waste in ways that address the particularities of that waste stream. The process that we designed for construction waste was based on the idea that we, as a city, had to provide ways for them to carry on performing an activity that provided them with their livelihoods, but in ways that protected the environment. So we built what we called small reception units for collection of waste debris. So this was scattered in many regions of Belo Horizonte, and the informal collector of debris could come to these reception units and deposit the debris there with no charge. And from there, the city comes with the, with the city's truck, collect the debris, and take this debris to a recycling plant where the debris is processed and recycled. In terms of women empowerment, I think this is key 
You know, if you're talking about cooperatives of informal recyclers, we know that the discrimination that women suffer at home travels towards cooperatives, travels toward the organizations that represent workers, be it formal or informal organizations. So things travel from one dimension to the other. That's why we have to tackle you know, uh, gender empowerment in multiple levels. It's not only women, we cannot talk about women empowerment talking about economic empowerment. We need to talk about economic empowerment, political empowerment, individual empowerment. If we don't address things in complex ways, we can only produce affirmative policies. We are not only, we are not going to produce transformative, uh, uh, you know, changes. So I'm striving for transformative changes, you know, not sure that we are getting there, but we are trying. And I only believe that it's by thinking in complex way and acting in complex, complex ways that we can really uh, contribute to transformation you know, in society.